from Tavern on the Green in Central Park, New York. It's the Cube covering Veritas Vision Solution Day. Brought to you by Veritas. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Tavern on the Green. We're here in the heart of Central Park in New York City. You're watching the Cube, the leader in live tech coverage. We go out to the events. We extract the signal from the noise. Big events, small events. We're here at the Veritas Solution Days, hashtag Vitas Vision. Veritas Vision used to be a very large big tent conference. They've changed the format now and they go out, they've gone up to, they're going up to 20 cities this year, belly to belly with the customers and we've got one here. Vishal Kadekia, who is the data protection manager at NBC Universal. Vishal, thanks for, so much for coming on theCUBE. No problem, thank you for having me. So as I say, we love to get the customer perspectives, um, but let me start with this event. Why, why, you're a busy person, uh, you're managing a lot of data. Why do you take time out to come to an event like this? What do you learn? Uh, you always get to learn new stuff, new products that you don't necessarily get to learn because you're always just zoned in into your day-to-day -day, uh, work that you're doing, so you don't always get to see what the new uh, features may be or you miss it. So these types of events are generally good to come to see that. So what's, uh, what's the day in the life like these days for data protection management? And, and really I'm interested in how it's changed over the last you know, five or six years as you, you see things like you know, the buzzwords, digital transformation, big data, cloud, multi-cloud, all the vendor buzzwords, but, but you actually have to live that. So how has that changed the role of data protection and data protection manager specifically? It, it's definitely a lot more complicated. Uh, before you were just backing up on-prem, you had tape, uh, pretty much made it simple. Now you have all these different workloads, uh, you're sending out to clouds, multi-tenant, as they keep calling it, the hybrid, which is another buzzword. Um, trying to manage the different workloads is a lot more complex than it was five years ago. Um, you have various cloud vendors, you have various storage vendors. So managing all of that, obviously the data growth from you know, the smaller backups to now, big data, which can be terabytes, petabytes, to try to back that up has been a bit of a challenge. Well, that's a, but that's a, but a challenge for someone like you who's, you know, I mean, you, RPO and RTO is not getting relaxed, right? right? Uh, and, you know, people always talk about getting, getting my weekends back. So, <laughs> but now you have to keep up with all these other technologies. So what is it? Is it a lot of reading? Is it just going to sessions like this, having vendors come in? How do you keep up with it all? Um, I think it's a big uh, mix of both. Um, it's going out to these events, but uh, also having vendors come to you, doing your own research, so it's a combination of just constantly keeping up. So it's, it, I would say it's a combination of all. One of the things that I would be concerned about in your role is to have just more stovepipes. Um, are you able to, just conceptually, I'm, you know, not, you know, not technical, deep technical anyway, I love tech, but are you able to create, let's call it an abstraction layer for your data protection? Is that kind of your vision and where you're headed so that you don't have to have 10 different formats of, and methodologies and processes around data protection. Yeah, I, I think that's the, the goal that I think every company's trying to go to is uh, consolidate, simplify, uh, whether that's vendor, whether that's hardware. I think that's really the goal of any organization now. And that's kind of where we're headed also. So if it's a baseball game analogy and you're you know, a nine inning game, wh where are you in terms of that, that journey? Are you, is it early days kind of First inning, are you kind of warming up in the bullpen, or are you sort of well into the game? Uh, I, I think we're well into the game. We're probably into the middle innings, I would say. Okay. Yeah. So you, so you can see sort of that vision becoming a reality. Um, and, and what are the priorities then in terms of getting to that point? Um, is it is it skill sets? Is it is it technology? Is it people? Um, I, I would say it's technology. Um, I would say that. Uh, Consolidation is probably the big word. Um, we're, we're all trying to consolidate while trying to back up the large data sets, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think that's where we are right now. Is that that's where we're starting to get to, and uh, see the uh, plan forming, seeing where we our methodologies, our strategies on uh, on how we're going to go forward. As you move toward the cloud. Vishal, whether or not it's even you know, pushing data to the cloud, a lot of times you just can't. Yeah. Um, but it seems like that cloud operating model is something that's alluring to folks. Simplifying, uh, agility, self-service, are those initiatives that you guys have, have enacted? Um, in terms of that, yeah, we're, we're, I think in that phase, I think we're in our 
beginning mm -hmm. uh, to form that plan because once you get to the cloud, you have to really have a good plan. Otherwise, your data is going to be all over the place. You're not going to know where it is. And managing that is just going to become that much harder. Um, so I think in terms of that, uh, we're, we're trying to really come up with a good plan of how you migrate to the cloud. Because once you get to the cloud, there's a whole different set of uh, uh, you know, complexities that you have in managing it, right? Like so, what? Maybe, maybe um, tick off a few so we can so, know, paint a picture. So once you get to the cloud, uh, migrating, so you've formulated your plan how to get to uh, what cloud to use, what vendor to use. How do you migrate? from your on-prem to the cloud is I think one of the, the big complexities, which I think kind of stumps a lot of people. You know, you want to go to the cloud, just don't know how to get there. Is that just because the volume of data and you got to move data and it just takes so long? I mean, the backup your iPhone takes forever and it yeah. fails left and right. Absolutely. So okay, so it's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the amount of data and the, and the time it takes. Right, and, and uh, you, you also have legacy applications with Mage, with may not be cloud ready, so yep. then how do you deal with that? So you have that uh, hybrid model, you still want to keep some stuff on-prem, but you want to go to the cloud, what goes to the cloud, which cloud do you go to? All of that is where I think we're really at, and I don't think it's any different than any other organization, right? So that's kind of where we're at. And, and how about this notion of multi-cloud? I mean, is that something that is, 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 is real in, in your business? Yeah, I think it definitely is, I think, uh, our end users are trying to take advantage of where to go best. Some places Azure might work best. Some places AWS might work. There's also Google now that's coming up. So I think you have to kind of consider where the workload would be best to go to. Is, is shadow sort of IT and, and cloud creep problematic for you? And in other words, you know, lines of business saying, All right, I, it's easy, I can swipe a credit card and I'm up and running in minutes and then oh, I got to protect this data, it's got to be yeah. compliant. Has that been a challenge for you? Do you have, feel like you have that under control? Um, no, that, that has definitely been a challenge. There have a lot of been uh, different groups that have kind of tried to do their own thing and then found out, oh wait, this is way harder than we thought. Let us go back to our central team. But by then, it's kind of all over the place, right? So that's, that's definitely been a challenge. Yeah, it's hard because thinking about that, you probably might have done it differently. You might have put in processes and procedures in place, and now you got to <laughs> clean up the mess, so to speak. But okay, so I want to get into Veritas, and, and you're a Veritas customer. I am. So, so how does Veritas help you with all these solutions? I mean, a lot of things that I've just asked you, I think are part of either their roadmap or they're making you know, claims that they can currently help solve some of these problems. Yep. Can they? Why do you? You know, what do you do with Veritas, and, and how legitimate is is their ability in terms of able to solve some of these problems? Yeah. So I mean, we've been able to to use Veritas to kind of as a central location management of everything. Um, one of their tools is such as CloudPoint. So our biggest thing is you cannot if you don't have a central management tool like CloudPoint, which can manage your various cloud backups, then you're left with managing each cloud on its own, right? So as an operations standpoint, that's like a nightmare. So having a tool such as CloudPoint, right? And then that getting integrated back into NetBackup, which now gives us a central location for all my backups, for reporting, for audit purposes, any of that has been great, right? And I've been using Veritas since 3.1, so I've been a Veritas customer for a long time. I've seen the evolution right. of when it was 3.1, a lot of it was manually operated, a lot of scripts, where now a lot of it is automated, right? Which, so that's helped a lot. You know, we're automating VM policies, we're automating SQL backup policies, all of that has been great. Where are you today in terms of the release? I'm sorry? Where are you at today in terms of the release? Where, uh, we're, uh, I know they just released 8.1.2, we're right. on 8.1.1. Okay, so close to to, yeah. uh, to current. Um, yeah. yeah, I've seen some videos on, on 812. Um, it looks like they've really put a lot of time and, and effort into refreshing it. It looks like a microservices architecture. They're talking yeah. about containers and, and certainly, you know, saying all the right things. Uh, from your perspective, have you have you dug into it yet, or is it still early? It's, it's still early. Uh, well, I, I did deploy it on a test environment. I haven't fully played around with it, mm -hmm. but some of the uh, cool concepts obviously are you're going away from that Java console eventually, getting to that web base, able to access it from anywhere. Um, the manageability, like a central tool to manage all of that, that I think, I think they're finally gearing towards that mm -hmm. and 
And, and you guys are a VMware shop, right? We are a VMware so shop. So we were at VMworld uh, last August, uh, this past year, and even the year before, data protection was one of the hottest topics you know, on the yes. show floor. I, were you there? I don't know if you were I, there. I was not yeah, there. So, I mean, it was you know, really a lot of buzz there and sort of a lot of new entrants in that space. And I would imagine a lot of people coming after you for your business because yes, Veritas absolutely. is a very large install base. So when you look at the vendor landscape, how do you look at it? Where do you position Veritas relative to some of the other upstarts? Your thoughts on the competitive landscape and why Veritas? Well, my, my point of view has always been, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. Uh, there may be other that may be doing something better, but at the end of the day, if it's not drastically different, it's a lot of work to move away from one product to another. And they'll always come to you and say, hey, we do this better, we do this better. But then when you compare it to me, uh, Veritas is that all encompassing, right? It doesn't only do uh, virtual, it does physical well also. It doesn't only do big data, it does all the traditional databases as well. They're always constantly evolving and adding new workloads that it can also uh, be compatible with. Yeah, so I would, I would imagine it would be a little difficult to go to your CFO and try to justify a huge migration project given the other priorities that you have. But I mean, give me some insight there. I mean, what kinds of things do you want to focus on? I mean, obviously, nobody wants to migrate anything. It's like moving a house. Yeah. You really don't want to do it. I mean, right. you, sometimes you get a bigger house or a nicer house or a smaller house, but it's moving is always a pain. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so you'd, you'd rather put your effort in your shop somewhere else. Where are you putting that, that effort? What are the, some of the priorities that you have, either personally and professionally? I, well, I would say in, in this sense, I think it's, I don't want to work the weekends, yeah. right? So how do we automate? How do we make operations easier for everybody? Uh, the engineering, the solution, the, uh, the operations, uh, we want to make it simple. And I think Veritas allows us to do that. Because they're, they're an open source, they work with, you know, many vendors, which makes it nice, right? So you can, such as uh, VMware, we can, works with uh, vRealize, uh, all those plugins with VMware, and you can eventually just automate and make it simple. Yeah, and, and, and kind of get rid of a lot of the scripts, which tend to be fragile, yes. they take a lot of maintenance, they tend to be error prone. So if you can, through a set of APIs, automate, programmatically yes. move toward sort of infrastructure as code or a DevOps environment. I'm sure you guys are yep. doing Absolutely. that internally. <laughs> and, and what a difference it makes from the sort of classic waterfall in terms of speed, agility, quality. I, I presume you're seeing that in your shop. Yeah, so we definitely are. And, and something like a flex appliance would allow us to, to, to move towards that, right? It's, it simplifies, gets, you know, gets us to where we are, but also helps us with our goals of you know simplifying reducing our footprint but still being able to be agile enough to to go to cloud to keep a hybrid model so something like that is i think where we're seeing well Vishal, we, we love the customer perspective yeah. thank you for thank coming you. on we like to hear the truth veritas truth in latin of course <laughs> and, and uh and really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We're here at Vitas Vision, hashtag Vitas Vision, Veritas Vision Days in New York City, Central Park, Tavern on the Green, beautiful location. My name is Dave Vellante. We'll be right back right after this short break.